Hello colleagues, welcome back. I hope you had an opportunity to spend some time with loved ones, even if it's just virtually and to get some rest during spring break. As much as we have been through in the last month, we sure needed that break. Once again, I want to thank our faculty and staff for all of your hard work to transition to temporary remote instruction and alternative service delivery methods. We pulled together as one team communication flowed, and our students were able to continue their studies. The board is in awe of all that we're able to accomplish together. To those of you who are still working on the campus, thank you for being here, for our students, each other, and our community. For those working remotely, thank you for making such a big change in such a short time frame. You've embraced video conferencing, and I'll bring our work to a new level in a challenging time. In our current situation, we remain focused on serving our students the best we can in this new and ever-changing environment. While some things have changed for our students, such as learning remotely, many are still juggling jobs, families, and school. But for some, they're carrying added stress from a job loss, lack of childcare to be able to work, and remote learning. If you see a struggling student, Please refer them to our support services should you feel they need assistance before they're forced to leave us. With so much change comes fragility in the human spirit. And while strong, it can sometimes falter. As faculty and staff, we must take that extra step to support anyone who might be struggling with these changes. This includes each other and our individual selves. As I stated in my previous update, after consultation with the college presidents and the academic senates, we made the decision to continue temporary remote instruction and alternative service delivery methods through the remainder of the spring semester. In regards to our summer session, we have also made the decision to continue with remote instruction and alternative service delivery methods. It was important to make this decision as early as possible in order to provide us with time to market our summer courses, as well as inform students of how the various courses will be offered. For summer, each college will have the flexibility on how to best to offer instruction, whether it's remote instruction, online, or distance education. Each college will be in communication with their faculty and students regarding the modes of instruction. I'm also happy to announce that we will continue to pay our student workers through the end of the spring semester. As we remain student-centered during these difficult times, we wanted to ensure that we do everything possible to help our students to continue their education. As our commencement ceremonies, we are working with the colleges to identify the best possible options for this important milestone for so many of our students. We will update you as soon as possible. As a reminder, should you have any questions or concerns regarding our response to the COVID-19 coronavirus, please continue to share them through coronavirusinfo at rsccd.edu. Your comments, feedback, and recommendations have been and will continue to be helpful as we work through this together. Thank you again for all that you are doing for our students in our community. Stay safe.